Hi everyone, it's Gabrielle Carolina from the Mod Podge Bookshelf, and I'm here to share all the amazing books I got in my mailbox this week. This was a fantastic week, and um, in fact, I keep forgetting to show all of you. I got this for my birthday, but it's a Katniss Girl on Fire shirt. Isn't it pretty? And I figured I'd just show it to you instead of wearing it since you wouldn't be able to see it. You'd just be seeing the top. So, um, for review this week, I got from Harper Teen, Dark Eden by Patrick Carman. And this sounds like, go check out, go check out this book and all the, uh, stuff they're doing for it. It's a whole interactive experience kind of a thing. So, definitely go check that out. And I got The Power of Sick by Pitticus Lore, which is quite fortuitous, as I just watched I Am Number 4 today, and I thought it was pretty good. Um, it kind of almost made me excited to read this again, because I think that this is, I mean, The Power of Six, right? Six is so kick butt. She just rocks. And um, so I think it'll be interesting to see more of her in this book. So thank you to Harper. Um, from Penguin for a arc, or not arc tour, but a blog tour. I got Audition by Stacy by Stasia Kiho, Stasia Ward Kiho, and um, this is a debut novel, told in verse about a ballerina and kind of what it takes um, to get there. So very exciting. Thank you to Penguin and to Stasia. Um, I got from Stephanie Miller the sequel to her debut, Salvaged. I got Rise. Um, this is the second book in her. I don't know if this is just the sequel or the companion or if this is just part of the series, but this continues off where Addie Reed and Riley left off, so very excited to read that. And it's signed to me. It says, and I got a pretty business card and um, a bookmark. It says, always find joy in the journey. Stephanie Miller. And I love that. That's really pretty. Um, from Macmillan, I got, in order of how <laughs> excited I was, um, Amplified by Tara Kelly. Ah, rock on! Okay, sorry. Rock on is a little punalicious, pun but still. I love Tara. I loved her debut. It came out last year. Um, it's called Harmonic Feedback. You have to read it. And now I have to read this Toot Sweet. So thank you to Macmillan and to Tara for writing more awesome books. I'm sure it'll be great. Um, from Alexandra Aronetto, we have the sequel to Halo, which is Hades. And I recently did a mini post, or I did a post, but I included this book. Um, all about the covers of her series, and I love the Australian cover. Um, this one has really pretty colors, but the motorcycle just doesn't blend as well with the romantic um, feel of Halo, and the Halo cover is possibly one of my very favorite covers ever, so I can't wait to get the Australian version to go with it, but still, I'm really excited to read what happens next for Bethany and Xavier and even Jake, even though we don't like him. So Silver Bright, and this is by Lisa Manchev, yes. Um, this is a fairy series about fairies who live in the Globe Theatre, which is Shakespeare's original playhouse. And I have the first book, it's on my bookshelf back there. Um, if you can see over there, we've got some packing boxes because I am moving. Woo! Um, but I did leave out the first book so I can get into the series. I know I'm going to love it. It's Fairies and Shakespeare. Can you imagine me not loving this book? Um, this is, her name is Beatrice Shakespeare Smith. And I keep pronouncing the title So Silver, So Bright. And it's just So Silver Bright. So in the future, correct me. And I also got With a Name Like Love by Tess Hilmo. And this is Tess's debut. And it's a contemporary MG novel about the... Daughter of a preach man. No, okay, never singing. Um, but how badly do I want to sing that song with the what's going on here? I really do. So give me 
Okay, no humming either. From Simon and Schuster. Oh, thank you to Macmillan. Y'all rock. So hard. Um, from Simon and Schuster, I got a finished copy of The Unwanted by Lisa McMahon. I am really excited for this one. It's a middle grade novel, and if you haven't heard of it, have you been living under a rock? Seriously? Another finished copy I got, and I was so surprised and excited, was Fury, and this is a debut from Elizabeth Miles, and I want her hair. Look at it. It's so pretty. And her dress, too. Her dress is gorgeous. Do you guys see this? Look at that dress with the green sash, and oh, it's just such a pretty cover. And I also got two copies of Clean from Amy Reed. Um, and this is all about kids or teenagers, um, and sobriety, uh, and getting sober from their many different addictions. So thank you to Simon Schuster woo, for the extra coffee to give away sometime. That is all I got for review. However, I went to my local, um, half, well, first of all, I, I got a lovely gift from someone from swap.com, just... One of those lovely random angels who you run into, and she sent me um, Positively by Courtney Scheinmel. I'm having trouble remembering the names of the authors. I usually don't have that problem. Usually they're just there, but I am this week. So thank you. Then I went to my local half price bookstore, and <laughs> I scored. Okay, so first of all, yes. You are seeing this right. I'm an American holding the British cover of Graceling. I'm so excited. Shimmy. That one got a shimmy. That one got a shimmy. Woo! I am so excited. Look at it. Look at it. She looks, cats are just looks fierce. Oh, okay. And then I totally want the cover of Fire as well. Just, do you see that cover? Oh, I wish that cover were my book. I also got Destiny's Path by Freewin Jones, which is the second book in her Warrior Princess series. Um, so I'm very excited to read that as well. I also got a little anthology of Robin Hood legends, which may or may not have something to do with the book I'm writing. Just saying. I also got all three of the books. They had all three of them. Oh. My goodness, Libba. <laughs> Just why? I mean, not why, but like how? How did you write these three chunky novels? Chunky. Chunky is a good word for these books. Okay, they're super chunky, but I already started A Great and Terrible Beauty, and the writing is phenomenal. So she can chunk it up, because I'll read every- I'll, I'll eat it up. I'll eat up that chunky book. Okay, I need to stop now. The books are A Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels, and The Sweet Far Thing, and they are all part of the Jimma Doyle series, so very excited to read those. Man, they make a noise. Did you hear the noise? And last but not least, I got Ice by Sarah Beth Thirst, which is one of my very favorite fairy tales because it involves a polar bear, and when I move, I will show you guys my polar bear collection because, dude, I have one. So very excited to read Ice. Um, Alright, so... That is all I got in my mailbox, but let me know what you got in yours and what book I need to read first. I'm, I'm kind of boxing some of these up to move, so tell me if I need to keep something out and read it right away. Alright, let me know. And let me know what you got in your mailbox.